Hi, uh, this is Srikant. Today's concept is what is DHCP and how it works. So first of all, what is DHCP? So DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The main purpose of DHCP is assigning the IP address to the host on the network. So the main purpose of DHCP is assigning the IP addresses to the host on the network. So every host on the internet needs an IP address in order to communicate with other device. Definitely it needs an IP address, right? So that IP address will assign by the DHCP. So how DHCP works? So DHCP works on process called DORA. It will work on process called DORA. So now when you here look at the diagram, we have client and we have DHCP server. So what happens over here? When computer, computer that is configured to get the IP details, so automatically when it is powered on, so when the new device is connected to the network, so what will happen? It will send a discovery message to the DHCP server. It will send a DHCP discovery message to the all the host. Yes. After DHCP server receive this discovery message, it suggests the IP address offering the client host, offering the client host. This offer message contains IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DNS, lease period. So this offer message contains these details. Now, so what will happen after receiving this offer, what client will do? Client will send a request message to the DHCP server. So whatever the details and whatever the IP address you have, you are offering me, I am okay with that. This request message is, please assign that IP address to me. Yes, after receiving the request to the server, what DHCP server will do after getting the reply from the client, it will acknowledge the, it will give the response like acknowledgement. So it will assign the IP address and it will assign the other details to the client. Now this client can make to any uh, device and make any request and it can, it can communicate with the, any device on the network, right? So this is how DHCP will work. Here, my question is, so what is the IP address of this client when sends a discovery message? Because this client is connected to the network, but there is no IP. But how this client has sent a discovery message to the DHCP server? Because when it is not connected, to, when it is connected to the network, before I sending to the IP address to the client, the source IP address will be 0 .0 0 0.0.0.0. Yes. And one more question we have over here. How does this client knows the IP address of the DHCP server to send a discovery message? The client would not be knowing the DHCP address, but broadcast the discovery message. It will broadcast the discovery message. So that is the destination IP will be 255, 255, 255. So this is the destination IP address of the DHCP software. Yes. So what happens when DHCP runs out of the IP addresses? What happens when DHCP runs out of the IP addresses? When you start running out of the addresses, your subnet is set to be oversubscribed then DHCP server refuse the assign the IP addresses until a device in the network releases an IP address and makes it available again or the lease period expires. Then only we can assign the IP addresses. So what happens if no DHCP server is available in the network? The client gets an IP address. This client gets an IP address from the APIPA, automatic private IP addressing range. Thank you.